Today, we're in the city of Birmingham, the UK one, not America, at the very iconic Blue Tower in the Sky. It could only be the Rass and Blue Hotel. Hi, it's Lights from Lift Up for Travel, and today I'm staying at the Rass and Blue in Birmingham. I'm going to be joined by Brett. Birmingham is no longer the industrial city it once was, it has some stunning architecture, food and drink, and of course the ball ring complete with its very own ball from the Olympics, which we're very proud of. Rosson Blue is right in the heart of Birmingham and very convenient for everything. The mailbox, the ball ring, Birmingham New Street and the High Street, all within five minutes walk. The full description of the room and the price we paid can all be found in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like or subscribe. The rooms go as high as the 18th floor, but for today's stay, we're on the 13th. Let's hope for some impressive views. This is room 1303, which gives rear-facing views away from the city and towards the mailbox, which you'll get to see very, very soon. Heading straight across the very white hallway takes you straight into a separate lounge area. It's a beautiful mix of white, greys and the red furniture with the hidden ceiling lighting. The design feels very 2000s, but it's comfortable. The view looks towards the southwest over the A38 road with the roundabout featuring a beautiful Chinese pagoda. Next door is a similar design. The colours really seem to complement each other and I love the slightly industrial concrete pillar which is both aesthetic and essential to keeping the building up. We would have probably preferred just chocolate but this little welcome gift is wonderful. The chocolates were delish. And the king size bed, what a rookie, was really comfortable and we both slept really well. The views remain the same except for the last window that curves round the building, revealing views towards the mailbox, the new library, the BT tower and the shiny rear of Birmingham New Street Station. It's not the Riviera, but there was something really mesmerising about watching the traffic go by. In part two, Brent makes a request. Alex, we go to the gym? Do I have to? I have a bath, we watch the sunset, and find out how good the breakfast was. Okay, let's go. So you thought the view was good from there, we have to go up. To the 18th floor. If you're planning on using the gym, the peak times seem to be between 5 and 6 pm, but when we arrived, there was only one of the guests. And as for the views, the running machines are on the same side as the room, so you get the same view but five levels up. It's a reasonably stocked gym, but there's not an endless amount of machines. You'll also find fresh towels and a water machine. It's time for my bath. Meanwhile, outside, drama was unfolding with an Uber taxi parking on the roundabout. I didn't care though, because I was enjoying a hot soak and the bubbles. The bathroom and inties are really good. We love the blue body wash, and if you don't fancy a bath, you can always have a shower. Later in the evening, we went out to Inter Birmingham to have some dinner, before returning to the hotel for a good night's sleep. We'll see you in the morning for what we hope will be a really enjoyable breakfast. So I slept quite well. The bed's really comfortable, just there is a lot of light. If you're planning a trip to the UK, please know that even in the summer, it can often be grey outside. I should add, if you're one of those people that craves caffeine all the time, this can be found in the cupboard in the lounge. There's also a small fridge. So this is in no way an advert, but if you've ever been to Asia and you get to see calamansi, this is absolutely beautiful. Before we go to breakfast, you may have noticed a door next to the room entrance, and this conceals, sorry, a guest bathroom. Breakfast is held on the first floor at the Coliage restaurant. It's a nice space with some interesting and dare I say exciting furniture. The big question is though, how is the food? The choice of different style of bread is excellent, and it was fun, although I don't want one, to see a make your own Bloody Mary station. As expected, there's a cooked English breakfast, cereals, ham and cheese, and even smoked salmon. And you can even make your own freshly squeezed orange juice. In all honesty, the breakfast was really good, although the scrambled eggs somehow didn't quite seem to have the right taste. We did find one item of breakfast though that isn't typical, but it made for a really nice, if not odd, addition. I know it's really bad, but I couldn't resist the brownie. Mm. And on that note, it's back to the room to gather our things together and check out for today's conclusion. The Rudson Blue Birmingham is beginning to show its age, but still provides possibly the best rooms available in Birmingham. The location is really convenient and the staff seem friendly. It was comfortable and clean, but will probably need a refresh in the next 10 to 20 years. 